All right, so I just realized in class today I forgot to talk about something. So yesterday we, we did this equation. We talked about the universal gravitational constant, the value of it, what m1, m2, or big M, little m r, and r is the distance between the centers of the objects. Um, and remember, m1 and m2 can be interchangeable because 2 times 3 is 3 times 2. What I needed to make this connection here. We talked about how we had this old equation. Um, and we talked about how g is the local gravitational field strength, little g is. Um, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put these two equations together because here's fg and here's fg. And they're both equal to this, fg is equal to this mass and fg is equal to this mass. Um, so I'm going to set them equal to each other. So mg equals big G m m over r squared. And now look, one of these m's is the mass of the object, we'll say, and the other one is the mass of the planet, not necessarily. Um, a one, uh, not necessarily a planet, but, um, and then when we have fg equals mg, this is the mass of, of one of the objects, and then g is the local gravitational field strength. So what I'm getting at is this mass over here is the same as one of these masses over here. So we can cancel one of them. Doesn't matter which one. Um, they're kind of interchangeable. And then we have a new equation for little g. So little g is big G m over r squared, okay? Um, where little g is the gravitational field strength. It's no longer the local one, because this is for anything now. It's, it's the gravitational field strength, a distance r away from the center of an object with mass m. Okay, So it tells us the gravitational field strength of this object here, with mass m, when we are a distance r away from its center. Okay, So that is kind of what we're, um, what you, you need to know for um, some of the last problems on worksheet 